Ana kuhusu kwa kwa tembo kwa mara kwa kwa rekeri. Arabu ni tano zaidi. Darlo kwa lala. Gogo Moyo is a traditional South African healer or Sangoma. I was chosen even before I was born, you know, and it had nothing to do with, with what I wanted, but because it was part of my journey, I had to embrace it. Using her bones, herbs, and spiritual guidance, she communicates with her ancestors to cure a range of physical, emotional, and spiritual illnesses. I would do cleansing on people if they see shadows, if they hear doors crackling, you know, all that supernatural stuff. That supernatural stuff is why millions of South Africans regularly turn to Sangomas. It is important to, 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 for, a, 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 for an African man or a female or a family to consult because you know our, the background of our ancestors and they've been asking help to Sangomas. Traditional healing is a big part of South African culture, but times are changing and as social media and technology dictate the way we communicate in the world, it is also changing the ancient practice of Sangomas. Now it has moved to, to your Facebook and to your Twitters and the modernization of it was just so that it could also exist in this current space and time. With over a thousand followers on Twitter, a website featuring an online store, and the option of online consultation, Gogomoyo's practice is far removed from the common perception of old-fashioned traditional healers. It's, the, it's much more of the younger crowd, the educated crowd, the people with careers. You know, those are the people that are using um, social media to push their practices. But even older Sangomas, like 62-year-old Matthew Sibeko, are jumping on the social media bandwagon. With Facebook, Facebook has done a, a bigger thing for the most people because everybody rushed for Facebook. I asked him, why did you do Facebook? I, said, I did Facebook because to, to try and reach people in many other directions. As this traditional custom evolves into big businesses, technology provides them with a marketing solution. I want the people who actually come to me to treat me like a business. Bringing in more patients. This allowed me to be able to be accessible to people who are abroad or not in Johannesburg. More variety. It helps bridge and cross cultural and, and racial lines. And more unity among Sangomas. There's a certain group of Sangomas that end up uh, jumping onto the same platform and using the same idea. But the question still remains. Does an intermediary computer screen or cell phone detract from the roots of traditional healing? When I use my phone or my computer to connect with someone, you know, spirit connections are not dependent on interference of technology, so it makes no difference. So it's not as if Isangoma, who uses, you know, social media or the internet or whatever, is an anomaly. It's part of a growing trend. Ten years down the line, Gogo Moyo sees a more organized body of traditional healers. I find that it will be more structured because of the young healers who are tired of just floating around and not actually belonging to an organization. And she believes technology is the gateway to that goal. With social media, I feel like there will be a bigger, uh, a bigger outreach. Traditional healing won't die out, and neither will the teachings behind it, because for as long as people are being born every day, you have a reason to keep on sharing this information.